Hi guys, <coughs> we are at Balaclava Cemetery, which is pretty cool, and it's very big. Oh, sorry about the wind, guys. It's a bit windy out this way. Um, <coughs> all right, let's see if we can uh, pick anything up from here. So, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, here we are, guys. Um, that's it. Hello to yeah. all the spirits. Doomed. How can we be doomed already? Hello to all the spirits. My name is Mark. I have my wife Annette with me. Um, she's somewhere out and about somewhere. I can't find where she is. Sort of lost. Um, okay, any spirits want us to come and say hello? Oh, look at this. Look what I found. <laughs> I like this. Nice little flowery roses in there. Beautiful. Okay, sure. sure. What are you sure sure about? I'm walking up backwards up here, guys. I haven't uh, read anything over here. They're more of the newer plaques. So I'm not going to worry about doing those ones over there. As I said, I'm more of a history buff. I do the old, old ones, stuff like this. And who do we have on this one? <clears throat> In the loving remembrance of Sarah Ann, the wife of Amos. Ooh, I can't read that one. Sorry, guys. Some of them, now we're in front. I don't know how the weeds, the weeds get through that, but yeah. <laughs> and the loving memory. Undecided. Undecided. William Thomas, who died at South Balaclava, 30th of August, 1900s, aged 67 years. Uh, Reared Weir IED of life's long journey of a battle with pain and strife, come from the world of sorrow to a home of eternal life. Wow. Gone where all the pain is ended, to that heavenly home above, where all are pure and holy, in the realms of peace and love. Also, Jesse, 
beloved wife of above, died November 12th, 19th of the 11th, age 84 years, mother. And <laughs> you can only have one mother, so patient, kind and true. No other friend in all the world but will be will be so good to you. Uh, I can't get the rest of it. Be far there, guys. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. I like poetry. Love, 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 love poetry. Love reading poetry. If I can actually see it, um, any spirits here like to come and say hello? I'm actually sensing something, but I don't know what it is. I feel a bit funny in myself. Feeling right. Hmm. <sighs> we'll get it together soon. <laughs> Run. Run? Why? Robert, in the loving memory of Robert. Stuart, dearly beloved of son of R.H. Stuart, who died July 24th, 1913, aged 35 years, deeply regretted also Robert H. Beloved Father of Above, who died April 10th, 1938, aged 86 years. Wow. Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Any spirits here like to come and say hello? Any spirits? Like to come and say hello, have a conversation. You're most welcome to. Don't have to be shy. I'm just wondering if you spirits remember me. Do you guys remember me at all? Does any spirits here remember me at all? I've been here before. I come here with with respect, not disrespect. Any spirits like to come and say hello? Any spirits like to come and say hello? Torturer. Torturer? Who's, your to who's torturing you? And this is a railway track. I like that. That is so cool. 
and it's on a railway track. <laughs> maybe it was easier to put there, maybe, to move. Who knows? Yeah, we have a bit of a mixture. We've got new ones, new ones here as well. Even got puppy Clarence Sydney. Hmm. Any spirits here like to come and say hello? Here we have in the loving memory of Ellie Gertrude Angel, beloved wife of A.E. Angel, died August 30th, 1935, aged 49, 49 years at rest. Also, Albert Ernest, beloved husband of above, died 7th. Of 1947, age 62 years. There you go, guys. Yeah, looks like we're getting to the another room. Another room. No. I was in a house so there, maybe. <clears throat> Looks like this one here's this one here, guys, is fairly new, as you can see. Fairly new. Yeah, but the new ones are quite nice. But as I said, I don't want to do those because they are very personal to someone's family and I don't want to disturb that at all. It just doesn't feel right to do so, to do that. I mean, uh, I like the history of it all. In the loving memory of Sophia, beloved wife of Frank L. Laurie, died March 29, 1918, aged 32. Peace, perfect peace. Beautiful. Any spirits here like to come and say hello? That one's different. Weak. Weak. Who's weak? Look at this. Um, check this out, guys. I don't mean to swing you around too much because it get dizzy on the screen but I did want to show you this how's that for a um a colorful rose beautiful but it's a pity I couldn't read it some of the letters are missing from it <clears throat> but yeah the flowers were quite nice on there 
Alrighty, any spirits like to come and say hello? You're most welcome to come and say hello if you want to. Again, we hit a quiet spot. Very quiet here. Any spirits like to come and say hello? Very peaceful and quiet here. I reckon if I had to run away, I'll come to a cemetery. <laughs> yeah. It's very peaceful and quiet to gather your thoughts and stuff. So, yeah. I wouldn't run away anyways. Sister. Sister. As in sister, collar, sister. Very, uh, very, very peaceful here, guys. I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> In the memory of Alice Griffith, who died. 28th December 1905, aged 24 years. Uh, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Undecided. Okay, you're undecided. John Thomas Griffith, husband of the of the above, died 28th of March 1931, aged 58 years, at rest. The beloved mother and father, Claude, Archie and Griffith. Rest in peace, guys. Any spirits like to come and say hello? And I love angels. Did I tell you that I love angels? I reckon angels are so cool. Here's a little a little one here guys in a loving memory of H C Ambrose Patterson, beloved son of Charlie and Jane Patterson, died February third, eighteen ninety five, aged fourteen years. Safe in the arms of Jesus. And there you go. Beautiful. Okay, I might head over in this direction. Because some of these are pretty old as well. well. This one here was done in 1944. In the loving memory of Walter Henry, beloved husband of Florence in a Newman, died 10th June 1944, aged 65 years. Also, Florence Find me. in a 
beloved wife of above died 10th of July 1950, aged 71 years. Rest in peace. Where can I find you? Where can I find you? Oh, and these spirits here like to come and say hello. And these spirits like to come and say hello. Not very active today. <clears throat> wow. Curious. Curious? What are you curious about? In the loving memory of William Barr, beloved husband of Mude, M-A-U-D-E, died 1st July 1954, aged 80 years. Also, M-A-U-D-E, died 20th of March 1983, aged 100 years. Check that out, guys, 100 years old. Wow, that person had made it to... A Hundred years. Ooh, that's pretty old. Jean, Mary, Edna, and Lick, and Robert. Wow. Very good. Very good. Pretty cool to live that. If you can live that far, you'd have to be pretty healthy. Very, very healthy. Got to keep yourself healthy. That's nice. Twenty twenty one. Uh, yeah. Okay, any spirits like to come and say hello? See, guys, there's nothing scary about a um, cemetery, guys. Even at night time, it's, we don't find it that scary. It's quite peaceful, yes, I um, I agree there. It's very, very peaceful, very quiet. I mean, there is traffic out there, but as soon as the traffic holds off, it's very quiet and it's very peaceful. Nothing scary about cemetery oh. during, during the day. Uh, more of what? What would you like more of? Poor. Poor? What's poor? In the loving memory of John Bridman, Brigman. Our dearly loved husband and father died 25th of May 1930, aged 68 years in God's care. Also, Hannah 
beloved wife above died 25th June 1961, age 82 years. Rest in peace, Hannah and John. Okay, I reckon I'm going to finish up fairly soon. Don't. don't you don't want me to finish up <laughs> okay <laughs> i can roll another five minutes or so and if anything's not happening then i'm going to finish up okay. I won't finish up just yet, but because you said don't, I won't, don't, and I won't. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, what? What? I was just making a rhyme. <laughs> Sounded funny. I will. Can I get a last reading in? And we have a, a loving memory of Emma Louise Marie, the dearly beloved wife of A. H. Ham, A. Haman, Haman. Who died July 17th, 1904, aged 34 years. Her children rise up and call her blessed. And I think that's Proverbs 28. I don't know what the XXX1.28 is. Could be Proverbs one twenty eight. I'm not a hundred percent sure. If you know the Bible, um, just leave a comment below on what the XXX stands for. I would love to know. <laughs> Died. Died. Yes. Um, yes. Sorry about that. Or well, sorry to hear that that you died. Here's a pretty one. Also pretty. And lots of nice colourful flowers. And a nice cross with the roses there, if you could see that. And a putty cat. Yeah. And that goes by the, what's it, read in loving memory of Maxwell George, passed away on 13th of March, 2003, age 84 years, beloved husband of Edith Anna. Passed away on 24th of March, 2005. So this one's pretty recent, guys. Age 82 years. Loved father and mother of Raymond, Trevor, Meredith and Roma. Kathleen, Shirley, Faye, Ellen, Robert yeah. and their families. Yes, they are missed. That's awesome that you've come out with miss. Yeah, and this family does miss their loved ones. Thank you for noticing that. 
and I'm going to leave it at that, guys. That was pretty cool coming out with mist as I was reading that. So that sort of, <laughs> yeah, spin me out a little bit. Wow. That's awesome when something happens like that. You read something and it comes out with mist. Wow. Oh. All right, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, M&A Mystery Tours. Um, yeah, come and subscribe to us. Um, chuck a big thumbs beer. up, major thumbs up. Oh, I don't like beer. I've tasted beer. Ugh, yuck. Um, yeah, guess so. Give us the big thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video. Ciao for now, guys.